Hey sweeties, I am doing a haul video um, and so where I got all my stuff is from Target which I got a ton of stuff and Sephora and Ulta. I only got one thing from Ulta so I'm going to start with that first and the first product that I got was NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, the 604. As you can tell I've already used it and kind of broke the cap but anyway um, I really love love this because as you can see it's super pigmented it doesn't budge really um, it's good with I mean it's great with colored eye shadows which I do have like my big old elf eyeshadow pen uh, eyeshadow palette and it just works wonders just works wonders so if you haven't already picked this one up I believe it's around like six or seven dollars um, the next thing I got was from Sephora and I got the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which is the smaller tube, which was, um, $12. I didn't want to pay the, um, more expensive version because, I mean, I'll get that later down the line, but, um, I have, I got this one because I did want to try it out again to see if I really, really, really do like it. Um, I had this. This one before it was like back in two years ago and before that I used um, I used Too Faced. I uh, can't talk today. I used Too Faced um, eyeshadow primer. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I got this for $12 and it, you can find it like in the middle, like right, by, right before you walk into um, the cash registers, it's like right there. So, and it's called like on the go section. So you can purchase this over there if you don't wanna pay like me the full price. Now I did pay a full price on this one and it's the Stila's Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner Stay All Day. And I use this about once, yeah, one time. And like, it's amazing. like. If you can see this one right here, um, how it's like thinner, it's it does stay all day long. Like I needed one for work because I'm on my feet all day and I start sweating and everything and it has not budged on me whatsoever. So I thought Stila did a really good job with this eyeliner and I will be repurchasing this one. It is $20, but I saved up, like I said, like I I do save up for some of my products, so um, I'm not like under budget or whatever, but I got this for $20 and um, yeah, so I like it. It's really long wearing and if you haven't already, pick it up. The next one is another eyeliner in Midnight Black and it's the Sephora Nano Eyeliner. I like this one because I had needed one for my waterline um, to get really in there. And I got this one for $5. Um, it is comparable to the Urban Decay's Zero 24-7 eyeliner pencil, but I got this one instead, and I think it works wonders. I mean, I haven't had raccoon eyes unless I wear it, like, for too long. Like, too, for too long is, like, past eight hours. Of course, it's going to smudge. It's, of course, it's not going to be there anymore, or it's going to make you have raccoon eyes. But as long as you keep touching up, like, I would say, like, it lasts about four hours for me. And this is my second time purchasing that. So I really do like that product. Um, okay, now to my Target haul. Um, as you guys know, I live and swear by Aveeno's moisturizer, but I couldn't afford it this time, so I kind of um, wanted to start fresh and start a new product, and I got the Pond's Luminous Moisture Day Lotion. Um, it's SPF 15. It's in a packaging like this, and it's their, it's their newest product, which I thought was really cool, and it's as big as the box. Like you normally don't get products this size coming out from the box. Like usually you pull it out and it's like this size, you know what I mean? Like, no, this one is exact, like almost as big as the box and you get quite a bit of product. Um, you get 1.7 fluid ounces, 50 milliliters. Um, 
of product in this. And what it does is this lotion contains UVA, UVB sun blockers to protect against skin damaging rays. So I've actually used this quite a bit now and I really like it. The smell is wonderful. It smells really girly, um, kind of like a lotion-y smell. It's not overpowering where it's like, oh, I don't want to smell like that. It's definitely just subtle and then once you put it on and let it set, you kind of don't smell it anymore. So it doesn't like mesh with any perfumes that you might have if you're worried about that. Um, it looks great underneath foundation and um, it gives you a luminous finish as it says right here, luminous moisture. Um, and I really like it. So this one was about $10 um, and I really like this. So if you haven't picked this one up, please do and let me know what you think about the product. Um, and the next one I've been using quite a bit. I got my shade in 310. Um, it's the Fit Me Shine Free Foundation Stick. And it looks like that. And I guess the middle is supposed to be the Shine Free um, circle where it you don't need to... It gives you like a matte finish um, kind of thing. Since my T-zone is really oily, I still need a powder. So I still use my Rimmel's powder foundation. And so that's what I think about it is it does give you a shine free finish um, throughout the day. About like maybe two to three hours into it, you would need to be touching up. So that's what I felt like. Like I need to touch up like every three, three hours. Now what I put to or what to blend it out with and apply it with, I use my e.l.f. Um, powder brush. This is the first powder brush on their studio line that I got. And I am amazed. I am definitely liking this, this brush. It's only $3. Um, I have my more expensive brush, like my Sephora brush right here. It's just as dense. It's just as, um, this one's softer, a lot softer. Um, and I just use it for blending out my foundation. I did use the, the Dupe Beauty Blender um, and for a while now. And I just feel like this brush is doing the trick for me. I really, really, really love this. So I'm probably going to most likely buy another one of these just to be safe, just in case they take it off the line or off the market. And I'm not able to buy these brushes anymore. I'm going to like stock up because they're only $3. Um, the next product is another foundation product and everybody was ranting and raving about this. So I needed to try it for myself. It's the Wet n Wild new coverall. They do have a powder with this, does come with the powder. I did not get the powder, but it is going to be one of my first impression videos. So the, stay tuned for this uh, first impression that I'm going to be giving um, probably in another week or so. So stay tuned for that one. Um, the next thing I got is another e.l.f. product and I needed an eyelash curler. So I got this eyelash curler and... That is like a new thing for me because my my eyelash curler is one of those old school like you have to open it and close it yourself. Whereas this has like a bit of resistance and so it it just comes back up by itself. Um, and I like this because it was only three dollars again. And also the rubber in here it comes with an extra one so i thought that was really cool okay so i'm stop playing with this i got that for three dollars it's in the elf section again um and then the next products that i'm going to show you is nail polish i've been getting really creative and getting into the nail care um world as you can see i did like a pink zebra white um, what is it called? French tips. And I just really like playing around with nail polish. So the color that I got is NYC's Pink Champagne. 
and I got NYC Starry Silver Glitter, which it has blue and purple, like a lilac color, um, within the um, nail polish, as well as sparkly um, silver glitter. I've been getting a lot. I've been getting into the crackle stuff, um, but I got the Maybelline New York Color Show Shredded in Purple Possibilities 30. I got this one because it was on clearance and it was like a dollar something, so I got that. And I also got um, Go Go Green 340, and it's a dollar 48. As you can see, I still have my clearance tag sticker on it. Um, and I was thinking of doing Kuropi from Sanrio with this one or like a turtle or something on my nails so stay tuned for that. I am going to try to get into doing like designs for my nails. <clears throat> if you, if everybody likes my videos on that then I'll be doing more. If not then I'll just cut it short kind of thing. It'll be a tri trial and error so if you guys like my nails please like and comment down below if you guys want to see how I do my nails or whatnot. So everything that I'm wearing on my face is going to be on the down bar and everything like that. So that is it for my haul and I hope you guys like it and stay tuned for more and I hope you guys like this video. Um, like always, stay super sweet. Bye guys.